Hi, my name is Ruth. I'm from Piano Picnic, where you can learn to play piano bite by bite. Today I'm sitting at this beautiful grand piano and we're gonna talk about how to clean the keys and how to keep your piano clean. When you're not using your piano, it's a good idea to put the cover down. I know, it's crazy. I know you wanna show it off to your friend. I mean, when your friends come over, put the cover up and whatever. But if you keep it cover up, it means that uh, you're avoiding getting a layer of dust on the keys and that's just less cleaning to have to do. When you do feel like you need to clean your keys, just get a cotton cloth and just dampen it with a little bit of water and just clean all the keys that way. Just wipe them quite lightly and that should get all the fingerprints and maybe any residue that's on those keys off. If the damp cloth doesn't cut it, you can use a mild soap or a dish washing detergent. Just put it on the cloth and then rub the keys lightly. Don't pour it on the keys. But you want to avoid having any sort of chemicals or solvents on the keys at all because then you kind of lose that texture that we like to have where our uh, fingers kind of glide and don't get stuck to them. To clean the outer case, again, damp cloth is best to get off the fingerprints. If you do want to use some sort of a polish, make sure that it is water-based and doesn't have any silicon in it. A little cheeky trick if you have a vacuum cleaner is to uh, one of the furniture brush nozzles on, your, on the end of your cleaner. You can actually give a little vacuum over the keys, but make sure you're using a brush nozzle and not one of the hard ones because um, it will scratch it up and that's not great. If you're tempted to clean up underneath the hood, you can also use a vacuum cleaner there if it's getting a bit dusty. You can put your vacuum cleaner onto reverse on the blow cycle and uh, just blow out any dust or debris that you can there. Try not to actually make contact with the strings or the hammers to blow that dust out. Make sure you open all the windows and doors first and uh, maybe get a fan so you can just cycle that <laughs> dust out of the house. Definitely clean after, not before you dust bomb everything. If there's anything really stuck in there or it's got any mildew or insect damage or anything like that, if it's an old piano, you need to get a technician in to sort that out. Don't do that yourself. Keep all drinks and liquids far away from your precious piano. Any sort of liquid or water damage to the uh, action of the keys or any of the mechanics inside the piano is just going to destroy it. So don't even do it. Finally, play your piano regularly. It's obviously going to be great for making progress in your playing but also this kind of uh, keeps up the health of your piano in a way it stops things like insects getting in there and making it a little home if you're constantly playing and moving around the mechanics and pieces of the, of the piano then it's going to keep it in great shape and that's it that's my tips for keeping your piano clean